we're gonna look at uh, Shotwell and it is a uh, photo manager uh, I really like this one uh, so far better than the other ones I have tried it um, was it F-Spot? F-Spot is slow and glitchy I don't really like F-Spot I know a lot of people do I just don't okay uh, this one however the first thing uh, that bugged me about this one was importing the images I imported like a thousand images and it was real slow to me uh, I guess it was because they were um, generating you know the thumbnails um, so I guess that's why it's slow but other than that after using this very smooth I like it so far it's quick okay from uh, starting it to using it and even applying some of the effects so let me show you some of the features out here uh, what you can do is uh, let's say you want to tag it alright let's say we tag this one so right click on this and add tags and to add tags is basically you know type in whatever you want so let's say girl and maybe add another tag like cool and you can add more just put a comma through it but anyways you do that and you have it right here on the side okay we have tags on the side right not a big deal the thing is let's say you want to add like a, another photos uh, as the same tag I wish you could just drag it in there and it'll be the same tag but it isn't okay the only way you can tag it right now is you actually have to name it or type it in which I don't really like doing that like every time so you have to do this every time right now and add in you know your tag cool right and then that's how it will go in here I wish you can just drag and drop in you know for some of them I like to do uh, so that's what I have a problem with there uh, what else is here um, you can do mark as favorites and hide if you like so you mark as favorites you have this little star and if you hide something let's say you right click on this and hide it it'll be hidden now to get those back or you or you want to view those uh, again uh, you have it up top here let me see the views and let's say show only favorites and there you go I have two favorites here but say they have the stars uh, what else is here let's get that back show hidden uh, photos then you have the hidden one back see that X right there so now if you want to unhide that you go unhide and you're back to normal uh, you can set this as a um, desktop background if you like uh, you can actually remove this from I guess it's just this image. Let me see if remove that. Or oh, you can move it to uh, the trash if you like, or just remove it from uh, on the library. Oh, they have you two options. I dig that. Uh, what else is here? Oh, let's say you want to uh, tag more than just one photos. All you do is highlight the ones that you want. Let's say uh, this one, this one, whatever, and then uh, let's give it a new tag. Like, uh, let me see here, hot, right? and now you can you have all those as your tag dig that another thing is uh... what do they call it? they call it events or something let me see here you can go tag it no not tag it i mean new events there you go and you had like event ten or something here basically is another way to tag it uh... but by events um, so not important there what else they have Oh yeah, let me show you. Um, you can do some editing with this. Not not really that much. It's kind of like a Picasso. So let me give you an example. So let's say you double click on this, and um, you have the options here: uh, rotate, crop, uh, red eye, adjust, and enhance. So let's say you do enhance here. It just makes it a little bit brighter. Let me revert back to normal. Uh, adjustment is basically giving some color saturation and all that so if you want to do the whole images it will be like a little bit darker but the thing I like about all these features is that it's smooth and fast and quick okay none of that bull crap that you get with the other programs so that's what you can do there but let's get out of that and red eye I'm not sure how good this is but they do have an option for it and it's really easy to use you have this little circle I guess you move it to the eyes and then you apply alright uh, that's pretty much that's how it will be done and a cropped 
So if you crop something, let's say you want to cut this part only, All right? Let's see here, and I hit OK, and I'll just crop that picture, uh, that part of the picture. Dig that; it's all smooth. That's the thing that I'm gonna say here. Rotate if you like, not a big deal. Let's get back out of here. Now, if you in this mode, you have uh, different options down here. But oh, it's almost the same. Look at it. rotate, enhance, and uh, slideshow, and publish. Uh, as far as the publish, let me see here. Show you. You have um, what is this? Facebook. Don't use that shit. Flickr. Picasa. Um, well, if you use one of these services, uh, it's good for you. I personally like uh, Image Shack or something like that. Um, I can you know do it temporary. Or if you have an account, you can log in there. That'd be great if they add some more to it. Otherwise, if you use those services, um, you're in luck. Uh, I think that's about it. Another thing that uh, I don't like uh, about this is that um, you know when you're importing uh, a folder, that's fine. When you're importing all your images uh, for the first time, it's done, okay? But what if you have uh, new images that you just added to your um, you know your home folder or your home uh, image folder um, it doesn't auto detect the new images which is what I want it to do uh, like Picasa just import that shit in here and um, you know make it convenient I don't want to go and import it again manually that's too much time there okay so I wish they have those features and improve on um, the loading of the images if you have a, a ton of them uh, otherwise this is very smooth and I, I would recommend this over uh, F spot any day okay so that's this you know that's it for this one okay